So this video is a quick tutorial about the uses of sketch dimensions in Fusion 360. So sketch dimensions are used in engineering to provide a shape or line with a set numerical value. Now this could either be the length or radius of a line. So let's see how they look in Fusion 360. So in order to add sketch dimensions in Fusion 360, click Create a Sketch and select the plane you want to draw on. So firstly, I'm going to add a circle. And what you'll notice is as I select the size of the circle, I can either click a point where I want the circle to end or I can type in a value to this window. And as I begin to type in a value, you'll see a padlock appear next to it. This is showing you that it's going to add a sketch dimension to this shape. So if you press exit, you can escape that option. But for this, I'm going to add a sketch dimension of 100. And you'll see that it adds a dimension within the shape. So next, I'm going to add a simple line. So again, when I click this, windows are going to appear. But with adding a line, it's going to give us two windows. And you can flick between the two windows by pressing the Shift key on your keyboard. So with a line, it allows you to change the length as well as the angle of the line. So these will appear as two separate dimensions on your sketch. So finally, I'm going to add a rectangle. And again, it's going to give me two windows. So for this, I'm going to add a dimension for each side of the rectangle. So once I've got my dimensions, I can also double click on one of them to, to edit it. And I can actually select a pre-existing dimension. And what it will do is fix the dimension I'm now editing to the other one. So if I change the pre-existing dimension, it will automatically update on the dimension I've just created. Now this can be quite handy if you need two edges or lines to correspond to each other. Sketches with multiple converging lines can often look messy and therefore difficult to read. There's a couple of ways around this and one is to click show dimensions in the drop down menu. However, sketches are often better suited to having their dimensions visible. So, for example, this series of converging circles has dimensions that are quite difficult to read so these can be deleted and you can select sketch dimension from the create window now you can add a dimension to each of the circles and have the dimensions off to the side on a tangent making them a lot more easy to read and making the overall sketch look a lot more professional With some shapes, Fusion 360 will automatically add tangent dimensions. However, they can often overlap and be difficult to read. For example, with these converging rectangles, many of the dimensions are overlapping. So in order to move a tangent dimension, simply click, drag and drop where you want the dimension to be placed. Sketch dimensions can also be edited and changed throughout the development of a model. In this example, I'm going to be using the mini drone model that can be found in the events and workshop folder provided by Fusion 360. Now, in order to edit sketch dimensions, you must first locate the sketch that contains them from the timeline and then right click and select edit sketch. You will then be taken back into the sketch environment here you can double click on any sketch dimensions to change their value and press enter. 
Once you're finished, you can click Finish Sketch at the top right, and the features that come after the sketch in the timeline will automatically update. This can sometimes take a bit longer if your model has multiple features, but Fusion is usually pretty quick. You can now clearly see that the model has been updated based on the changes made to the sketch dimensions.